Greetings from the farm. It's so good to have you back with us again here on the Mondo Farms channel. My name is Chisha Folotia and this is from our latest crop of carrots. I'm down here on Kondwani 1A and before this we had some eggplant here. Now we've rotated into a rooting vegetable like this one. Most of this crop was planted, as you can see behind me here, on the 6th of April and we've got some of them over there that are looking much bigger than their friends. We had a problem. We had to replant after we planted here, trying to get into the market as early as possible, only to find that a big rainstorm came and washed all our seed away. Farming in the real world. These are the ones from the second planting, eh? Fourth, April 4th. Yes, sir. Oh, the wedding day. <laughs> this is the one we have no video. No. No. Hey, the day of too many moving parts. While I'm marrying off a daughter, I'm also watching what you guys are doing. Me want a banjay. cooler. Pazankala defense kulumaning um, in terms of weeks from, from harvest. I still like carrots, I love carrots. They're one of my favorite crops. Yeah, they have good. They were weeding here, Pakati Apa. Mm -hmm. How was the spacing? Uh, the spacing uh, two to three centimeters. For some of them, eh? for some of them, yes. And uh, these ones that are being overshadowed by the guys that have grown fast. Yeah, I mean, there's a choke, I'm first harvest. Mm -hmm. So uh, this guy, we can see the, the tip here. Then the other ones, this one also coming up. These ones are too far, like the one next to it. This one is way too far. Yeah. Yeah. This one is broken. So now I'm here in block B, and as I'm walking along the path, you can see it's a bit of a struggle to actually get through this. <laughs> this is all part of the farming journey that I've been on since 2020. You start farming small scale, you keep growing your size and scale, and you're learning your lessons along the way. Last year this time we had a crop down in Riverside 1 and the way we laid out the beds was the exact opposite of what we have here. We've got a 50 centimeter space here, the pathways, and then we've got a one meter bed. And last year it was the opposite. We realized when we started looking at our harvest and our yields that we could actually maximize on what we could get in terms of the crop because in farming farming as a business we are doing this for maximum yield so here um, we're quite happy with this new layout of what we have these beds along each block are 20 meters long and we try and keep it the same each time 20 meters so that when we reuse the drip tapes we don't have to start cutting and joining apart from where there are other issues then on each bed we've laid down five uh, drips one two three four five and each drip as you know is actually spreading water around it then we've got 
our lines of carrots that are moving. Let's count them on this bed. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, I think, on this particular bed. So some might be wondering why we have to have so many drip tapes um, so close together on a bed like this one. The reason is because we're using the same drip tape that we used last year on the eggplants. The eggplants are planted at about 40 to 50 centimeters. And we used a 40 centimeter spacing emitter drip tape that we have. In farming, we're almost always reusing the same materials that we have because you can't keep buying new things for each one. There are different spacings of drip tape. They start at about 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 30 and 40. And we've got 40s here. We want to get the whole bed wet. So one of the most effective ways of doing that is to put as much of the drip tapes um, together as possible. And that when the drips are switched on, you know, the whole place gets wet um, quite effectively. If we were using the other type of um, tapes, the 20 centimeters or the 30 centimeters, then we would change the drips, um, the drip line spacing on this, on this particular bed. But for now, this one seems to be working out for us. Another thing that we notice with this carrot crop on the beds is how much lack of uniformity that we have. You've got tall guys like this. And we've got little ones like these here that are barely getting started. Some of the reasons for that is that we are planting a, a OPV. <laughs> I should say an OPV. If we had planted a hybrid, we would have more uniformity. We plant OPV seed because that is what is readily available uh, for our Zambian seed market. And also it gives us quite a reasonable cost versus input and return ratio. And we're quite happy with that. Remember, we are farming as a business. Another main advantage for us or how we make the best out of the situation is that these taller carrot crops, plants that are here, they will be harvested first. And when they are harvested, they come out of the way and they then provide less competition for sunlight and nutrients for this one. So it means that with the carrot crop, we can keep harvesting this crop for several weeks, which is the experience that we had last year. So we don't mind I just mixed the Northern and the Eastern, just like that. As we said earlier, most of this um, crop here on Kondwani 1A for this season was replanted after we had some rains and we lost all the seed, we had to come back in again. Only one area survived, which is here, where you see these much larger crops, and this is one of them. And as we can see here, uh, this crop in a couple of weeks will be about another few centimeters long. It will widen up and it will be ready for harvest and be ready for market. So we'll be able to sell this crop out very quickly, pick out the best ones in our first cut harvest. And then a few weeks later, about three, four weeks later, come back and start looking at the rest of the crops and start harvesting from them as well. Normally on the Mondo Farms channel, we don't talk numbers. We rarely talk about the pricing that we get for a specific crop at a specific time and how much it costs us to produce a specific crop. But look, we are talking about farming as a business. So I'm gonna share some numbers with you from our experience from last year. The first crop was planted early in the year, just as the rain season was ending. That's the one on Riverside One. For that one, by the time we were harvesting it from let's say April planting, we harvested it in June, July. We were quite happy with the pricing we're getting on the market around about 11 kwacha per kg. Around about that time when we were starting to harvest that crop, we then planted a second crop on the other side of Riverside One, as you may recall. That one was harvested around about September, October-ish. And the pricing by that time, wow, it started really dropping. 
dropping from 11 kwacha down to 8 kwacha, 7, 6, 4 kwacha per kilo towards the end. At that stage, I said, ah, no, tientileke, we are not planting anymore. What then happens is later, during the rainy season, we're monitoring the carrot market and we are seeing prices of up to 25 kwacha per kilo. This is around about December into January because people had stopped planting. It is very difficult to plant carrots during the rainy season, but it is something that we have undertaken to do here at Mondo Farms. We like growing carrots. It's a wonderful rotation crop that can do very well for you and it is very good um, for our soils and our beds and gives us something different than the normal peppers and stuff that we're doing but we want to do it at a time that actually gets us a very good return so on the mondo farms channel later on we will be sharing with you the story of how we try to do a rainy season carrot crop successfully. Where will we plant it? How will we be planted? How will the beds be laid out? All of those interesting phenomenon that help to keep this crazy thing that we do called farming as interesting as possible. To watch videos like that, the easiest thing you can do is to subscribe to our channel. And you do that by pressing the subscribe button. And if you press the bell icon, then YouTube will let you know when another video comes along, which is round about every three to four to five to six weeks or so. If this is the video that you want to share with some of your other farming colleagues and contemporaries and people on other WhatsApp groups where you share things, then please press the share button and send it to them via the share facility. If you've got other experiences you want to share with us about how you grow carrots in your part of Africa where you are, then please put that in the comments below. And if you think this is a video that was worthy of your stamp of approval, as we like to say, then please give it a thumbs up by pressing the thumbs up button. This has been a very quick look at our latest carrot crop here at Kondwani 1A. The stories about farming as a business on the outskirts of Chongwe on the Mondo Farms channel will keep coming along. See you soon. Bye-bye.